best response to I come to. It's <laughs> so frustrating. I'm like, I'm gonna run one out quick before work. No, there's a fucking tar pit in my hand now, and that's if I caught it. <laughs> Uh, a tar pit for what, like what like bugs and <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just take. They're like, ah, tell me, cum doesn't have the same consistency as a fucking tar pit. Why the fuck do you know the consistency of a tar pit? Are you going spelunking for dinosaurs? I l- okay. I like how progressive and weird the world has gotten to where my the offensive part of like. When you're catching me is I'm a dinosaur tar pit guy. You're totally a dinosaur. What, Denver the last dinosaur wasn't good enough for you? He was the last one. It's in the goddamn song. I read the fucking portfolio. The fucking thing told me all about it. You don't need to tell me about fucking Denver the last dinosaur. I've been giving that to her for 20 fucking years, sir. Well, she wasn't okay with that. She just didn't know how to tell you. Now you're getting arrested. How does this feel? Now who's sexist? She turned into a he seven years ago, you dickhead. I think we can that? agree to disagree. And welcome to whatever the hell this is. We, uh, we've been re- we've been recording this whole time. I just want you to know that. <laughs> oh my god! So I don't know what oh just my happened. God. Hey, dude. Hey. What's up? I'm too early. It's too early, and I'm too sober for you to be still up. I don't know what we're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dragon Show. That's Dragon and Ferret together. I'm Xander the Blue. This is Alkali. I'm not here. (laughs) We're here with our guest. That would be Chris the Comedy Bunny that I called Jake earlier because your name is interchangeable with every other name. I am Alkali. He's also a made-up set of civil bulls. You you saying all bunnies look the same? Bunnies totally look the same. Oh my god. I was watching an episode of MLP and I did flash devil horns for out of that in my head. I don't know why I did that. I but made the same so, noise too. I was watching an episode of MLP and Fluttershy was doing her fucking Fluttershy shit where she's not like, yeah, I'm a Disney princess, but not enough to get copyright. And so oh, okay. she's all like talking to animals and shit. And she's really just kicking the whimsy up. And she has all her fucking bunnies and she's doing some bunny shit with them. And there's just this bunny in the background because they're all little white bunnies and a little gray bunny's popping up and I'm sitting next to my mom and we're just kind of sitting there and I go fucking token gray bunny oh. in my America <laughs> wow and my mom just starts losing it what, what the, the fuck, fuck dude what the in fuck my America not in my America <laughs> Damn gray bunnies. Uh, Damn gray bunnies. So in my America. For the rest of us. Look, I'm, I don't give a shit if the gray bunny's gonna be on their side of the burrow. I'm just saying, why they always gotta be in my TV. What the shit, dude? <laughs> I grew up in a weird. I grew up in a state that is a weird eclectic mix of hipsters, rednecks, poor people, and then just like bikers. <laughs> Bikers? Hold, hold, on. Question mark? hold on, going back to your 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 bunny problem. Yeah, my bunny problem. <laughs> yeah, your bunny problem. I got problem. a bunny problem. You got you seen in my America. Now see those bunnies, you know, those aren't the gang called called beta carotene. <laughs> the beta no man, carotene. they get over the border, they're called MS, hoppers. <laughs> the damn beta hoppers. The damn <laughs> hoppers coming into our country. That's hoppers. right, oh hoppers. My God. <laughs> them damn long ears thinking they gonna take <laughs> our jobs. Them damn <laughs> kicky legs because nothing makes sense when racism is entered into it. <laughs> kicky legs. Kicky yeah. legs I is an insult with uh, racist I, I tones. Them fluff backs. Uh, fluff, fluff backs. backs. Oh my god, I love it! Adorable cuddle bunnies? Yeah, that sounds not as good, but you know, you, sometimes when, you just want to make love. Eventually, no, the, no, no, we're talking about the gray, not the brown. A cuddle bunny is a cuddle bunny is what they call them. It's like what your grandma called gray bunnies. Oh, and, God damn and so you're like, Grandma! Mama. Grandma, that's racist now and it was racist yeah. then. <laughs> grandma, Cut it out. I know you're trying to be sweet, but no. Uh, don't do it. Just stop. Speaking of actual racism with old people. Okay. And uh, I, the first time I met my girlfriend's grandma, <laughs> it was just like, I, I was there and we were talking. She's an old Greek lady and she's fun. She's like, eat more lamb because she's a Greek lady. Mm. <laughs> it's fun. And she's like, you need to know about Greek culture. And I'm like, is it only food? And she's like, for me, yes. yes. And 
I'm, you know, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the family thing. Okay, okay, wait. So it's butt sex and food. That's Greek culture. Greek culture, my butt man. Butt sex and food. And I like this. Statues. And statues? Oh, statues, motherfucking statues. Motherfucking what, statues. Why statues? <laughs> Greek statues. We have to explain this. Hold on. I don't why? know if we'll ever be able to do uh, it on stand up, and I'm serious about this. I don't know. All right, you go over to the hotel over there. They got motherfucking statues for days oh, with yeah. neon lights. They all have LED lights. They are very lighting. proud they of their like motherfucking all. statues they, at the Marriott. They got fucking <laughs> mad statues. Right. We're talking like you need a statue. So can you? They got statues. Look, are they selling statues? <laughs> no, like, they, they just, get the gay like it. Okay. Yeah. They, Hold on, it's just their statues. They listen, just have, listen, are they a collector? Whoever is confident to have motherfucking statues in their hotel would put out a radio commercial about, this is the Marriott, we got motherfucking statues. <laughs> Wait, Xander, are what? we in ancient times? No, you're just at the Marriott <laughs> with motherfucking <laughs> statues. <laughs> Am I in ancient times? I'm not nope. at all. Just at the Marriott. At the Marriott, you'll get a fair price and fucking statues. Hey, when you when you check in, you get a complimentary little statue. Hi. Which can also open your room in an Indiana Jones-esque fashion. Hi, I'm Mr. Marriott, the president of the Marriott. And I'm here to tell you, we pride ourselves in our statues. <laughs> Please. Come to the Marriott, where statues are family. Uh, this is the court order to cease and desist, yes. declaring statues are patrons of your hotel. You have been sending bills to marble quarries across the land. Th you may me... not charge the statues room nights, even though you claim they are eating your continental breakfast, which includes, and I quote, eggs, bacon, Burnt toast and a waffle iron, three of which will be there, but two of which will work. One of them burns your waffles, burns them like the toast, affirmation in subsection C. It will burn the toast in the shape of a beautiful statue. <laughs> a statue? <laughs> Here at the Marriott, we pride ourselves in everything being statue themed. We're kind of a one trick pony, but that pony is made of porcelain. Sure, it may be difficult to check in at the Marriott, for our maitre d's are just statues. <laughs> but nearly go behind the desk and find a fully functioning computer made of porcelain so white, so beautiful, that you will think horses raced it around in days of old. Please. For we recycle our porcelain like the ivory that I thought this joke was about. Please, please. Be, be kind to our bus boys for being slow, for they are just statues. <laughs> and the food, the food that we serve to you, yes, you guessed it. They are statues. statues. Nutritious so it's statues. More, it's more so kind of a buffet of sorts, really. <laughs> Because you have to get your own goddamn food from the statue. Please, try to join our swimming pool. Yes, we could have filled it with water and called it a statue. But no, we made a statue. And in the center, giant sapphire to look like water. It will break your neck, but it looks beautiful. We, have a, we even have a water slide. It's sure, it's, it's coarse and bumpy, but it's also a beautiful statue. <laughs> the beds are unsleepable. You cannot sleep in our beds, for they are just <laughs> statues. Have you ever seen the Flintstones where everything's made of stone? It's kind of like that, but it's statues. The door computers do not work. The keys do nothing, for they are statues. And the door readers, yes, are statues. <laughs> So Nothing really works. Don't come to the Marriott. It's actually just a giant slab of marble. We have called a statue. I just want the Marriott logo just with that and then like a sprayed on font of motherfucking statues. Motherfucking statues! Right. Oh, I don't want fuck sprayed on font. I need some wingdings, motherfucker. <laughs> No one talks about the mighty Wingding anymore. I, miss wing dings. I want that. Okay, Wingdings is my favorite because it's uh, fucking alien language. Yeah. Thank you for Good joining night, us. Sir.
<laughs> oh my god, have a good one, buddy. <laughs> totally, I'm happy to be Gaelic oh. because then queer oh. is okay and they don't care, you fuck guys. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh my fuck. god. I forgot about that. Is he talking about. Oh, my fuck. Thing? Oh, fuck. Oh, he's talking a gentleman in the. Oh. In the, in the, in the, in well, place. I'm still not over statues. Fucking Motherfucking statues. statues. Motherfucking Who can statues. get over statues, man? I could never, I obviously can't. not the Marriott. Not no, the, not the Marriott. You won't at the Marriott. You'll never be tired of statues at the Marriott. No shortage here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. The getting... curtains are a little rough. For the statues, <laughs> statues tied but together. But no light enters our building. I, I... For it would damage the marble. Okay. Okay, this character the we created is just shattered. The, the narrator, the narrator we've created is a weird, <laughs> sinister man Eccentric from this millionaire. Yeah, but like he reminds like Vincent Price, like ooh, the statues they crawl closer. Like he's he's sinister and gay because he's really he's really old English about his approach to the Marriott statue relationship. <laughs> and then the days of old. The, the cops do not work at all. For the <laughs> yeah, statue. statue. And in fact, damages are the statues. <laughs> As you literally drag your luggage. Your luggage being dragged through our hotel in an unmoving stationary cart. Which is obviously a statue. Just letting you know. The elevator's a little rough. <laughs> Careful, for this ride will get rocky. Oh, We do have an escalator. What did you think we were? Barbarians? <laughs> for now, we have statues. We are much more like Romans. Okay, speaking of weird, sinister, gay, like... <laughs> Which was just a thing as a way to hide people's being Sinister gay. gay. Back in the day, man. Vincent oh, Price. Oh, that would be that would be my like if I if I made electronic mu- music. Oh, Sinister yeah. I, gay. I was about to say yeah. Is that your like basement punk band? Sinister gay, 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 gay. What was the one you went? DJ Powerbottom. Oh, yeah, DJ Powerbottom. That's uh, what. Remember what? Why? Why DJ Powerbottom? He, he had the he had the rap and DJ who was yeah. very very open about yeah yeah the th- okay it's just a fact about me because i freestyle <laughs> not well i don't care I, I just freestyle for fun but whenever i freestyle my go-to fallback anything is always just that i love sucking dick or that i'm like <laughs> gonna like take a dick up the ass so it's a, so when you're all rapping it's supposed to be about how hard you are it's like yo give me that dick and i'll start to spit put that semen on my face i'll rub it all day i love the dick i love it so much i want to feel those dick up in my butt shake my nuts back bend them down bend me over make me frown with my ass <laughs> What the fuck? That's just where you go. It's, it's just, just and the this is, is your happy place, right? Like brutal rape. It's just whatever. When I need to cheer up, you know, the first thing I think of, The Shining. <laughs> I I really find that the blood pouring out of the elevator calms me in ways that no Bob Ross video could ever imagine. You don't understand when one. I, my favorite part of the Shining Building was obviously the frowning butthole. Yes. Was frowning the, butthole? The frowning butthole. What? The frowning Wait, what's a frowning butthole? Oh, it's 20 bucks, same as in town. God okay. damn it. That's, my fa- that's one of my favorite stupid jokes. I will find any excuse ever to make that joke. <laughs> okay. Any. Ever. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, that, that hotel was like The Shining too. You were showing me that. Yo, yeah, it is. It's terrifying. Yeah, that hotel is terrifying. If you it, go was down cre- the- it was put together. It looks like it was put together by a 13-year-old who got three Studio Max and just got like the primary textures and just started slamming them on walls. If you go it's, in- it's, 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 that's what that fucking hotel the, is like. If you go into the bathroom, like the public bathroom, yes. it is wall-to-wall tile or wall to yeah. wall, not tile but wall to wall marble tile like it looks like ice cream tile it, like but, yeah it's terrifying because you can't really tell where the wall ends and the floor begins so you're in this freaky 2001 cube. fucking cube and it's long welcome and it fucks with your depth to, perception welcome to the defecation cube <laughs> welcome to the <laughs> defecation cube johnson would you like to defecate now or shall i, I wait 
I need you to design the house of tomorrow because every day when I shit, you have I truly want to hear, good morning, Mr. Smith. Welcome to the defecation <laughs> cube. Oh, you I- may defecate when ready. Defecation commencing in three, two, flushing. <laughs> flushing now. Defecation in process. Defecation completing. Defecation in process. Defecation in process. Defecation, <laughs> defecation in, in process. process. Perhaps you should try fiber in your diet. Here's I sent a few links to your phone, Mr. Ch- Mr. Smith. Oh my God. Now fiber. seems like the right time to masturbate. <laughs> and it just starts it's like some a robot arm comes on or starts shoving oatmeal in your mouth for more fiber. I, okay, okay. Forgive me for this. <laughs> Forgive me for this, but I was always Defecation very... Cube doesn't fuck around. Wow. Defecation Cube is brutal. Fuck, don't fuck with If you don't have fiber, cube. it'll give you fiber. Do you know what happens if you tell it that you're backed up, that you're constipated? What? It fucking murders your family. Wow. We don't know who coded that. We Whoa. don't know who coded it do to not murder mess with your the family. Cube. But yeah, wow. yeah, do not be constipated. Or I don't eat cheese anymore because I love my children. Well, it threatens it, man. That's, That's right, messed yeah. up. But I wouldn't do without defecation cube. No, you can't. You no, can't go like, out without defecation cube. Oh, it it's wipes me. for me. I mean, I get that, like, you know me, I like to give, follow the newest trend, but really, oh, defecation cube has really brightened up my life. And because it's Is so this light this becoming a 4 a.m. infomercial? Well, it is 4 a.m. Defecation cubes. <laughs> yeah. From if you, Blamo. If you buy a defecation okay. cube, we'll give you a second defecation cube for free. I don't know. I just love free. the conversation about sex with sheep for this. Now you should go back to the sheep. We're <laughs> hey, in a defecation, we're in defecation, defecation cube. We're in Illinois, though, so we're not in Illinois. I know what you're thinking, sir. These may look like child's blocks, but no, I guarantee you. They are defecation cubes. Are they- Notice how this side has a D on it? It's for defecation. Now, Alkali, you yeah. know me. I'm a bit of a penny pincher. Oh, I understand. You, I also own a wrench. <laughs> do you really think that on my salary I can afford a defecation cube? That's the best part about defecation cubes. Only the ten richest kings of England could own a kept defecation That's cube. That's right, but <laughs> now, today, for the low, low price of $99.99. <gasps> 99. Ah! 99. 99. Ah! You could own one quarter of a defecation cube. A whole quarter for we, me? Yeah, we call it a bathroom when it's a quarter, but for 99, 99, 99. Ah! And 99 cents, obviously, to keep the pun. You could pee into a genuine toilet. My gosh! I've never been so lucky! I feel like a regular king of Spain! Thanks, no. defecation cube. Now over to the Queen of Spain. I will destroy you for this is a Spanish accent. <laughs> My accent is here and it is out of the closet, but I am not. <laughs> the no. only my accent sucks, cock. This guy sounds like he owns statues. So I do. Is- I do, in fact. Okay, I once was running a D&D campaign and uh, I had people dealing with high society. And I was like, this is hard. This is hard. And my buddy goes, he's like, so what do we see? And I was like, you see, okay, picture the most posh woman you could possibly imagine. And she comes up to you and says, I'm Lady Debutant Lady. Lady Debutant Lady. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, you you should kiss my hand. I'm like, Lady Debutant Lady, are you. Having a stroke, and I'm like, oh, yes, the most gentle of ones. My <laughs> wig is poofed and my breasts are raised. Why? I have many petticoats and petty sneers. Whoa. Oh, excuse me, Miss Lady <laughs> Debutante Lady. Yes, darling. For your pantyhose have a rung in them. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and you seem to have shit your pants. Oh my, the smell alone is gross to say the least. Shall I bring the royal tacos? Yes, we shall make a feast of my anus. Ah yes, the name of Xander's photo album. A feast, feast of, of anus. I want that to be Xander's documentary. The royal tacos? 
Yeah. Xander's documentary will be named A Feast of Anus. <laughs> Chapter <laughs> 1. Aria. 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 Chapter 1. Aria. There was a- the Feast of Anus had begun. <laughs> I was born a poor black man. Holy shit. I love that movie so fucking awesome. much. Awesome. Oh. Oh, oh my god. No, man. Call me Sh- Ishmael. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't what? know. What'd you say? Call me, call Schmig- me Ishmael. Ishmael. Oh, Ishmael? Yeah. Yeah, call me Ishmael. But we what if he about... was more Jewish? What if it was, call me Swishmail? <laughs> call me oh. Ishmael. Like, books change way more That's if you give version. any character a Jewish accent in your mind. Oh, that totally I was true. reading Dragonlance, and I gave Raceland a Jewish accent, and he was no longer powerful. <laughs> But his spells were economical. <laughs> economical! <laughs> hey, Jewish. I don't want to waste any time with the number. I don't yeah, want to no, waste it. No. Magic ink is expensive. When I'm writing the spells, I want to... Are you saying you made a Jewish wizard? I did make a Jewish wizard you who is David very thrifty. <laughs> you oh, okay. made Copperfield. You made David Copperfield. <laughs> you just made a Jewish wizard. Oh, oh God. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, the story I never got to tell you. So Red, so so Red from Sanford and Son, right? Yeah. Your main character. He was also the head writer of the show, and uh, during the head writing of the show, a lot of people wrote in saying, "How come you have? How come you don't have more black writers? How come you don't have more black writers?" Yeah. And he's like, "You know what? You're right." And he fires his whole writing staff and brings on all black writers. Okay. And he's like, and he's and he he gets them all the right episodes and he reads like two pages of them. Like, he doesn't finish any of the scripts. He just reads a couple episodes and he just goes in and he goes, Bring me my Jews back! What, what the fuck? Is this true? Yes! Holy what? crap. Right? I'm like, I've that dude... i never heard that before. Uh, no, he was a... He actually was, like, a genius and, like, integral sure, in yeah. comedy. But no, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I tried it, but man, them Jews... <laughs> Bring me my Jews back. Bring me my Jews back. That's a great sentence oh right? my in God. American history. In <laughs> fact, you know what? It's such a great sentence. I think we need to make a statue to commemorate it. <laughs> You're right. And put it in the center of the Marriott. <laughs> I want it to be How right. else would you commemorate something but exactly. with a statue? Oh my god, that would be an amazing statue because it would just be a door like carved out of marble, like half a door carved out of marble and he's like poking his head in and it has like a finger and I'm just going, ah, I know a visual gag isn't great for a podcast, but it's 4 a.m. And he's like, <laughs> ah, and it's just underneath... Bring me my Jews back. Bring me my Jews. I, I have another thing to add for the statue hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they don't have adult entertainment because you know you just get statues. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. You don't get TVs. So if you want adult entertainment, we bring you a statue. <laughs> Guess oh. what? This statue you can jerk off, and it will come little statues. <laughs> It'll come little oh, statues. Oh, oh, oh. Are you saying? That the adult entertainment, yes. the entertainment that is like moving around and shaking their ghibli bits, like those are statues. Are you telling me that they based this hotel off of the Home Alone scene where all the cardboard cutouts are moving around? <laughs> that's the start of that <laughs> fetish for statue guy. Uh, uh, are you saying that's how they do statue? That's porn? how they do statue porn. That's they, horrifying. Somebody looked at Home Alone, it's like I need to be able to jerk off to this better. Like he did jerk off. He's to like it. he's like. This is good. And then they come little like, statues, right? He's like, one piece of pie is good. A whole pie is bad. <laughs> he took the teach a man to fish factor. He's like, show a man a scene where statues move around and he'll jerk off for a day. But you have a man make the scenes where the statues move around and he will jerk off for a lifetime. <laughs> a lifetime in statue years is infinite. So that is how we live. Yes, the narrator was a statue all along. <laughs> Here in the Twilight Zone. Have you? No, guys, no. Like, it's only the Twilight Zone if you care. For this is the scary death. door. The scary the door. Scary door. <laughs> guys, this has been the Dragon Show. Hi. We can keep going now, or, or no? What are you at? Twenty-four. That's it. Twenty-four thirty-three. I think that what we just did is war is is perfect. Fine, all right. That was perfect. Okay, yeah. all right. See you guys. Bye. 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 Fucking statues. Fucking statues. Fucking statues.